For a very long time, I've had to tell people I don't own every car in the game. I'll say every car in the game, minus three. There's three cars in this game that I do not own. I haven't owned these cars for the entirety of my career making videos. I started making videos back in October of 2020. That's when I finally came back to making videos. And a couple months before that time, there was three months, three crucial months where I wasn't able to play the game. I couldn't play the Crew 2, I couldn't get a hold of it at all. So in the end, I didn't own three Summit cars. There's three cars that I haven't owned for the last three years. You can see, I have almost every single car in the game. Every motor pass, every summit, every main stage, every buyable, every event reward, every playlist reward. Almost every single car in the game, but there's three cars I'm missing. So welcome to part one of every car in the game. The series of three episodes over the next two-ish months where I'm gonna get every car in the game because all three of those cars that I don't own never came back even once during my three year stint making content and are now coming back in the space of just before the end of this year. And then I will finally be able to say by the end of these videos, I own every car in the game, but I can't say that yet. So where do we begin? What's going on boys? My name is Sid and welcome back. Head down there, subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this. Of course, this car we will own at the end of the summit that's running right now. But the first car we're going with, you can already see. In fact, it's not even a car. This thing is a bike. In fact, now that I look at it, it goes down in order that we're gonna... No, it doesn't. This thing's up here. We're getting this last. But this thing is the thing we're starting with. But each of these videos will have its own niche as well. Because all these three cars are coming back in different ways. In fact, I'm not even gonna be unlocking this vehicle on the Crew Motorfest. And some people might already know what I'm talking about. This video is gonna be showing off the real-time updating vehicle transfer in the game. So let's begin by exiting out of Motorfest. And here we are. Now I do have the Crew Motorfest on PlayStation, which I do play a fair bit. You can see I've got 28 hours out of my barely any, barely any, barely any. Uh, t t t t t t 300 hours, two, uh, two, 28 of those are on PlayStation. But we're not going into that, we're going into the Crew 2. Oh, we've got a lot of stuff. We've got a lot of stuff. Oh god, this is nostalgic. Oh, why is this nostalgic? I was playing this game like two months ago, as it was the only thing I'm able to play. Oh damn, what update are we in? I don't, I, what are we... What update are we in? What is going on in the game right now, actually? Hang on a minute. Still flashbacks, and I'm getting flashbacks. So, I mean, hey, the update's clearly... If you're getting flashbacks while playing the flashback update, I'd say it's doing its job. It's PTSD. <laughs> Chat, we're back on the crew too. Oh, there's a brand new event. What spec is that event in? Hang on a minute. It's in touring car? That's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. We have a silly burger event. We have silly spooky burger event. Oh yeah, there's some cool cars to be added actually. I'm looking forward to the motorbus cars coming into the crew motorfest. We got this thing's gonna be sick. This thing, very cool. We've got the skull emoji tires are gonna be coming into motorfest. Then this thing, it's pretty all right. And all of these are gonna be transferred over but those cars are brand new to Season 9. So those aren't going to be going into Motorfest straight away. You can see, oh yeah, there's two Protos to come. But you can see, I've got the flashback. But of course, it's not in Motorfest yet because it, it well, it, it's going to be added in the, the Hoonigan update. So although the real-time transfer doesn't apply to cars like this, there's vehicles that it does apply to, and that's anything before Season 9. So if I went into the game right now and there was a car I didn't own, a purchasable vehicle, I could buy that car 
And if it was added before Season 9, I would have that car instantly in Motorfest. You can see we came Platinum. Oh, I'm going to have fun playing the Silly Burger event with this thing. Platinum in the Summit. The third to last of the cars I've needed. The KTM 1190 RC8R Power Track Edition Touring Car Motorbike Edition. It just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> Let's play Spooky Burger before we play... <laughs> Before we go into the crew motor fest again. Burger, 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 burger. <laughs> Will all the vanities be transferred into the crew motor fest? Yes, any of the new vanities will as well. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be my first time using this thing. This thing is now no longer the rarest motorcycle in the game. There we go. We have the regular RC8R. Here is the Power Track 2 from a video you might remember. Now we have the RC8R Power Track Edition. What is that? What am I? What is this about to be? What have, boys, what have you put me into? Okay. Everyone's in uh, muscle cars. Oh, that's a, never mind. That's an Escalade. Oh, the bike I've never driven. Oh, the bikes are so much better in this game. I see a city in the background. Oh, this is the same event as... Why is there so many pumpkins everywhere? This is the same event as the Alpha GP one, right? Is this just flipped layout Alpha GP? Oh, that'd be unfortunate if it is. The music survived, though. Go first person? Wait, what is that? How do we... Um... Uh... Chat, we broke through the web! Oh my god, there's another web! Sad pumpkin spider, no! <laughs> now I wish I had a bigger car. Oh, well, a bigger vehicle, I guess. If this is how they have to do it, so that the game can actually run stuff like this. <laughs> chair, it was this skull! It was the silly burger chair. It sucks that this is just a flipped layout of uh, the game before, of the event that was already here. Oh, is this the last event as well? This is the, this is the final event they're adding. So we've got this and then we've got nothing for three weeks, two weeks. And then we get a Mazda RX-7 FC, which I'm definitely going to be getting, which that's going to be transferred December as well. And then we get a brand new update chair. 19 days till the next update for the crew too. That's when we see what non-motor pass updates look like in this game. We'll find out what... A, a, a crew 2 without a motor pass is. I'm being overtaken by the muscle cars. Power track is clearly very bad. You know what, champ? Silly burger event gets my approval. But what even? Truly, what even? But now, boys, we have something to test. I've now played every single one of the new events added to the crew 2 post Motorfest in the flashback update. Hey! Mediocre update if this was all you had to play, admittedly. But where we aren't binded by mediocrity. Oh, I love how I love how all of the logos are pixelated as well. That's that's nice. That's nice. Because now we own the power track without being binded by mediocrity. We can close the game. Close the console, in fact. Sure. And instead, relaunch. The Crew Motorfest. Hey, I am streaming. I just wanted to say I'm probably going to order some food later. Do you want to, like, chill and watch the boys? Yes, I think... How many seasons are there? Three? There's three seasons. Two. Oh, good. Oh. It's like a second season. Again. And a spin-off season as well. There's a spin-off. Oh, good. Because this thing is getting even more wild. <laughs> just wait till you see season three. <laughs> I've seen enough. I've seen so many things. I'm traumatized. <laughs> I need to tell you, it was disgusting. It was something. <laughs> that sounds like the voice. Okay. Well, I just wanted to remind you. Uh, to, uh, uh, get ready to just chill and uh, watch some uh, the, the boys and snacks and whatever. I'm gonna order some food and I'll talk to you later. Do you want to say anything to the stream chat? Hello, stream. Uh, the boys is a very hectic show. Don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Bye. Love you too, bye.
Jay, did we get did we get a notification there? I was too busy on the phone. Did we get a notification there, chat? Because we're supposed to have got a notification when we go back onto the game with a new car. Now, I might have gotten it, but been in too deep in my conversation there. So there's only one way to tell, chat. No noty yet? Was there no noty? Okay. 604 out of 608. Do we... Has this scammed me? Hang on. Hang on, boys. Hang on a minute. Hang on just one minute. If I go type bike. If I go country Austria. If I go category racing. We now have the KTM Power Track Edition. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it didn't even give us the notification. We just have the bike now. There we are. Oh, done. Okay, I couldn't even get back on the loop. Let's take it into an event. Actually, let me just show you how bad this thing is. It's a livery you can't take off. You can put vanities on it, sure. But you can't do anything else to the car. Bike. Look, I use car like people use Hoover. Okay. We can't engine swap it. We can change the color. Oh, I didn't actually know we could do that. Why is that an official color? Since when? Wait, what? I didn't know that. Why is there a... These are official colors? Were these in the crew too? Oh, this is new for Motorfest? Well, I'm glad I carried it over then. No, okay, these are brand new... Only black and grey in Motorfest. Oh, in the crew too, sorry. Okay. Well, now I want to go with something wild and wacky. Because because I can. Yeah, what is the exact opposite of orange? Blue? So now we're about to use the exact same bike in two separate games. A bike that has been given customization, or at least more than it used to have, in this game comparatively to the last. They did a similar thing with the Black Knight Edition Evo. The Black Knight Evo used to just come in black in the Crew 2. But in Crew Motorfest, you can change it to any color you want. And the same things happened with the Power Track. How did I get it? I unlocked it in the Summit last week in the Crew 2. And then it transfers over instantly. And that shows you the first part of this series where I'm going to get every single car in the game. And for this one, I used the trick of... Getting it in the Crew 2 and transferring it to the Crew Motorfest. Okay, you know what? Hey, no, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Like, every bike sucks in this game. I mean, it's nice we can change the color of this thing. Honestly, if I ever had to make a Summit vehicle, IRL, this is the one I would make because it would be the simplest one. <laughs> They're making this thing... Josh, what's the estimate on how much this thing would cost to make? This would be the cheapest Summit vehicle to make. That's actually a good feature, right? So you can buy any car in the Crew 2 or unlock any car in the Crew 2. And since the Crew 2 is bringing back every single Summit car in order anyway, it's literally perfect. 20k tops? Yeah. This thing, if I ever had the expendable money to make a Summit vehicle, 5k for the RCA. Oh, not even then. 5k for the RCA? And like 600 for the body kit and just paint? Boys, do I make a Summit car IRL? <laughs> I made a Motorfest Summit reward. I are uh, in real life. That seems too enticing, fellas. Now you should be able to make the Lavoie Noir white. Unfortunately not. That one, I think Bugatti's lawyers would have knocked on the... I don't think KTM cares. Bugatti's lawyers would have been at the door. Also, I just realized I made the bike match my outfit. So that's fun, I guess. You could also make the Hoodlum Beetle. Beetles can go for 1K, yeah. But the customization, I'd have to what? Swap out the whole dr drive train, the whole the whole wheels. It would have to be lifted. It would have to have off-road tires, a wide body, an exhaust that comes out of the rear, uh, the, the 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 boot, or the I don't know what it's called in America. I don't know if it would be four thousand pounds more expensive to overtake the RCA, but it would still be expensive. But that would be a second one. It would also be more of a nuisance. Where am I finding that, you know? But here we are, chat. Two cars away from owning 
every single vehicle in the game. All we've got is the Rubicon next episode. And then we have the Rift Edition in an episode that I don't actually know when I'll be able to make. In fact, people have been saying, Sid, you have no idea what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. The Rift will come out soon. Before the end of the year, guarantee it. But maybe I can't be sure, you know. Maybe I'm stuck with only not owning one car in the game. And that would be so much more irritating than three. In fact, it's gone in order of cars I care about. I cared about this thing the least. I cared about the Rubicon maybe next so. And then the Rift Edition the most. Because that used to be the best car in street. Thank you to popular members. A special thank you to famous members. And an insane thank you to star members. Danimal the Manimal. Extreme Speed. And Mystic. And, in and Grim Pepper. And an insane, insane, top of the top, unparalleled thank you to Icon members, Extreme Speed again, and HK. We're coming to the end of this race, but I'm at the end of this video and the live stream. So I'll see both of you boys in the next one. That's about it from me in a bit.